Today we're going to go over a quick tip in Photoshop, but that allows you to add quite a lot of colour, any colour you want, to your photos. Great way of colour grading, great way of getting a bit of colour contrast if you want to go for like an orange and teal, or you want to go for multiple colours. Great way of really adding just a little extra something to your photo. It's Tutorial Tuesday. <laughs> Welcome back to Tutorial Tuesday, where each and every week, each and every Tuesday, we bring you a brand new, fresh photography. That was a bit hard, that one. That was a bit too hard. Brand new, fresh photography tutorial. This week, we're diving into Photoshop. I'm going to show you a little trick that I use to add some colour to your photos, to add any colour at all. So whether you want to emphasise a sunset, you want to add a bit of like, blue or teal or anything at all you want to have a, a color contrast we've got orange and teal on different size or you want to add multiple colors and just add a little extra something to your photos let's dive right in it's really easy as well so we're going to use this photo here it's a nice sort of landscapey photo the sunset we're going to add a bit of color to the sky to those clouds and maybe a little bit of color to the sea as well. So maybe go for an orange and teal kind of thing, but you can use any color you want at all. If you wanted to add a pink to the, to the sunset, you absolutely could. You can add any color you like. We can use the blend if tools within the layer styles in Photoshop. But don't worry if that sounds confusing because we can go through everything and it is actually super simple. So let's start off by creating a new layer. We've got a background layer here, which is the photo. We literally just open this in Photoshop. So we're gonna go ahead and click a new layer icon there. We've got layer one. And we're gonna use the brush tool to simply brush some color into the photo. So you can go to your brush tool, have a, have a reasonable size brush because you don't need to be super precise with this. But we're gonna pick our color. So the first color we're gonna use is gonna be like a, a more of an orange color. So let's go for a fairly rich orange. Let's go for something like, something like that. Hit okay. And we're gonna have our flow at around 25%. So let's just make that 25. And use a nice soft brush, so very soft. If you wanna change that, you can hold Alt, right click and drag up and down to actually change the hardness of the brush. We wanna use a nice soft brush. So we've got very soft edges to what we're doing. And we're gonna paint some orange in to this photo. So let's start by painting it into kind of around the sun here. Maybe over some of the clouds. And maybe even kind of spilling out onto the sea. Now don't worry that that looks ridiculous. That's obviously not gonna be the end result. Uh, but let's go over here and pick a different color. Let's go for more of a teal kind of color. So let's go for something like, I think that looks quite good. You'll notice I've gone for maximum saturation in these colors. That's just to make them pop as much as possible. I'm just a big fan of maximum saturation, to be honest. But you can do whatever you want. Let's paint some of this teal into the sea. Again, let's not, you know, we don't have to go too crazy. I'm just sort of uh, painting a bit here and there. And let's even paint just a little bit into the sky as well. Okay, great. Now, obviously that looks crazy. So here's where we're gonna change up some stuff. First things first, I find it easier to change the blend mode first. We can always then mess around with it later as well. But just looking at this is difficult to imagine how this is gonna look as an end result because it just looks messy and horrible. So let's change the blend mode. You can do that by coming down to the bottom right where the layers panel is and clicking where it'll say normal here. This allows you to change the blend mode. Now this, this is then gonna change how this layer is, uh, is blended into the overall image. And we wanna use something that's gonna allow it to sit better, uh, but without darkening anything. If anything, we probably wanna lighten some things up. So we can come down to, we could try screen. Not awful, but probably not the one. We could come down to overlay. A little bit, a little bit different. Probably a bit too much for what we're going for. I'm gonna go for soft light, which is nice and, and reasonably soft. Now, that's obviously, again, not what we want the end result to be, but we're gonna double click the layer to open the layer styling. So you can double click anywhere in the gray area here, double click, and it's gonna open this box, which is the layer style. And what we wanna be looking at here is actually at the bottom of the blending options, it says blend if. You've got two sliders, you've got this layer and the underlying layer. Now we're gonna really be focusing on the underlying layer, which is gonna allow us to 
essentially blend in the colors based on what's underneath. So let's start off with moving the, the highlights here and the shadow. So if we move the highlights, you can see as I do that, the color starts to, starts to drain out of the highlighted area first. And as I go lower and lower and lower, it'll start to drain out the shadows until it's gone entirely. Similar with the shadows, if I pull that up, it'll start draining out the shadows until eventually it's draining out the highlights until it's gone completely. Now, there's actually a way we can control this. You'll notice that when I do this, it's not particularly smooth. You know, if you look at the sky, as I do that, you get this literal band, just not where you want. So we can, there's a couple of different things we can do. First things first, let's bring the shadows up a little bit and the highlights down a little bit. And then we're gonna hold Alt on our keyboard and left click on both the shadows and the highlights. And what that's gonna allow us to do is actually as you can see, they split there, smooth this out a little bit. And rather than having a very hard transition between what's gonna blend and what's not, we can smooth that out so that there's more of a, more of a feathered transition between what's blending and what's not. And really with this, it depends on the photo, it depends on the colors. You really wanna kind of play around with it a little bit until you find something that's gonna work. So in this case, I'm gonna bring the shadows down a little bit and kind of smooth that out. And I'm gonna do a similar thing for the highlights. I'm gonna bring that down. And I'm gonna do something, something like, something like that. Now, my overall opacity, I'm probably gonna to wanna to bring down as well, which is actually just at the top here, because the overall look is, is a little bit much, but we don't have to bring it down too much. We can probably just go to maybe even 75%. I think that looks okay. Let's hit okay. And then you want to start playing around with what it looked like before, what it looks like now, and really get to an end balance that you're happy with. So if we turn that layer off and back on, you can see we've added quite a lot of color there. We've actually made quite a difference to the overall look of the image. You might then want to bring the opacity down a little bit. And at this point, you could also experiment with different blending options. So we've gone for soft light because it looked the best at the time, but maybe we want to try hard light, which is going to give us a much a much more dramatic color, which I then think would want the opacity to be brought down a little bit more. So let's say 45%. And you might even want to then paint in some more, maybe some of the teal here, maybe, maybe you feel like it needs to go across the whole sea like that. Maybe you want to bring the opacity down, turn that off, turn that back on. But to be honest, I quite liked soft light. We could try screen again which is gonna give us a different look again, lightens things quite a lot, and you just mess around with the opacity a little bit. But I quite like soft light, to be honest. I think that looks good, and at about 50%. So if I turn that off and turn that back on, I've gone for a very, in the end, a very subtle difference. So it's not a major difference that we've gone for, that we could have gone for with something like hard light, which would be much more dramatic. Soft light and at about 50% opacity, has really kind of allowed us to just add a little bit of color without going crazy. Now you can use this to enhance colors that are already there. So in this case, the sunset, you can use it to create a color contrast, a little bit like we have here with orange on one side and teal on another. You can add a gradient of color and then adjust it with the blend if and the blend modes as well to create very different kind of styles. You can of course use it to emphasize lighting and things like that in, uh, in, in low light scenes or in landscape. You can use it for portrait. There's all kinds of opportunities you can use for this. It helps with making skies look more dramatic or just general landscapes more dramatic. There's all kinds of things you can do. It's definitely something that's worth playing around with a little bit. And again, much like a lot of things we discuss here, Probably not something you want to overdo. Probably not something you want to go too crazy with, otherwise it's just going to start looking looking really crazy. But something that's very interesting to have a play with and, a, and an interesting way to add some color. You know, if you're really getting into editing, this can be something that, that adds a lot to your workflow and to the end result. Now, if you have any questions about anything we've looked at here, of course, 
pop it down in the comments. Any thoughts as well? Pop them down there as well. We've really just kind of scratched the surface a little bit with the blend if modes there. Of course, if there's anything you'd like to see in a future tutorial, absolutely let me know. I've got a few planned out over the next couple of weeks, but otherwise, you know, absolutely. I'll take on board any suggestions at all. So pop any thoughts you have about that down in the comments as well. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe as well, because we've got new tutorials every week, new reviews, just all kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff, all the time. I will, of course, see you in the next video. And as always, thanks for watching.